Which component in your PC is limiting your EFT performance? Let's find out. Oh, what's up YouTube? I'm Chris and this is my very first English Escape from Tarkov video. I usually only do German EFT videos, but I decided that there are some topics where I might have some value to add for international viewers. And I thought why not start with the EFT performance guides since they are very popular among German viewers and I got a lot of English comments under my German guides. People asking if I could do an English version or at least add subtitles. But I thought why not do an English version and that's where we are now. So this guide will consist of three videos. But the first guide today will focus on the bottleneck in your system. So I will help you figure out which component is blocking you from getting more FPS in EFT. And in my next guide, we will look at uh, every single setting in EFT. And I will tell you what it does exactly and how it influences your system. Meaning, is it a CPU heavy or GPU heavy setting and so on. So in the end, you will be able to set up EFT perfectly for you. Some people like to have the highest FPS because they try to play competitive, maybe even try to see people better. And some people just want the game to look beautiful and like the atmosphere of good looks in a game. And so every single one of us is different from what we want and from what our PCs are able to do. And I think there's no point in me just showing you my settings and telling you um, just set it up like that or even put all the settings down to the bottom for the highest FPS. That's bullshit. And I think that's not a very interesting guide. But showing you exactly what each setting does and how it affects your PC is the right way to go. If you are looking for a new mousepad, please check out my partner Kartra Games. Kartra Games offers exceptional mousepads with stitched edges, great mouse sliding properties, water repellent and awesome designs. Recently, they won the mousepad comparison test of the well-known German magazine PC Games Hardware. And now you can even use the AR capability of your phone or tablet to see which design suits your setup the best before you place an order. Get 10% off using my code TOLIACRO10 and you'll find a link in the video description. Now to find the bottleneck in our system, we need a tool that shows us our CPU, GPU usage, our temperatures and so on, uh, ideally within our game. So I use MSI Afterburner. If you have a different tool that you want to use, feel free to do so. Um, but we will be using uh, MSI Afterburner in this video. I'll put a download link in the video description. The download file contains a Riva Tuna Statistics Server. That's an app that basically just makes an overlay over your game. And MSI Afterburner is sending the sensor data to that application. So be free to download right now and then we will start setting it up. As soon as we've installed MSI Afterburner, of course, we want to start it. And that's the window you will be greeted with. Um, every time you start MSI Afterburner, it automatically starts Riva Tuna Statistics Server. You can see that it's running by just clicking the arrow on the bottom right here. And then you will see that little monitor icon that's telling you that it's running. And it's important that it's running since this is giving us our overlay. Now we want to set up MSI Afterburner and tell it which values we want to get shown in our on-screen display and we will do that by clicking on the gear icon on the left right here. In the next window we want to click the monitoring tab and there we have different entries that we can select for our on-screen display, our overlay. We activate them by just clicking on the check mark left uh, to the left of it and then again on the box that says show in on-screen display and if everything is set up correctly, you will see under properties, it says in OSD. Now, what we want to activate is GPU temperature. Then we want to activate every physical CPU core. Please see in the manual of your PC what CPU you have and check how many physical cores does it have. Does it use hyperthreading or simultaneous multithreading? Because we only want the physical cores. The uh, virtual cores are not very useful in EFT. You will get no performance uh, uh, out of virtual CPU cores in EFT. So basically ignore them. We 
activate every single physical core. You can see we have quite a lot of them on, on my CPU. It's 16 cores and 16 virtual cores. So every second core is a virtual core and we don't need those. Then we need our RAM usage and RAM usage slash process. RAM usage only shows us how much RAM is reserved and RAM usage, usage slash process is telling us how much RAM actually is in use, meaning not all the RAM that is reserved is actually used. It's just the application telling, telling Windows, hey, please reserve that uh, RAM for me. I might use it later. And so it doesn't get used up by, by other applications. But if it's really in use, only this value will tell you. Then we have frame rate. You can just activate the uh, EFT frame rate counter, but why not use that as well? Um, then we have the GPU usage or graphics card usage. And we have memory usage for the graphics card and memory usage usage slash process for the graphics card as well. Same as with RAM. And then we have the GPU core clock, um, the frequency of your GPU. And that's basically it. But please activate uh, CPU temperature if you can see it. My CPU is very fresh on the market, so uh, the value cannot be displayed by this application right now. I'm sure the next update will fix that. And maybe you want to add a CPU frequency so you can see how fast your cores are running. And that's giving you a little indicator if your CPU is thermal throttling. So yeah, that's basically it. Let's open the game and I show you what it looks like. Before we start, it's important, of course, that you have this application open. You can just minimize it, but it needs to be running for what we have to do right now, what we want to do right now. So as soon as we open the game, we will have our overlay on the top left. We have our GPU, GPU temperature, GPU usage and GPU core frequency. We have our uh, physical CPU cores with percentage used. And if you activated it, we have um, core clocks and temperatures as well. Uh, for RAM, the RAM reserved and actually in use. Then we have our frame rate and for graphics memory reserved and actually in use. Now we want to go into the game, but before we do that, it's very important to know that different maps are differently taxing on your system. So Reserve and Lighthouse are very CPU heavy maps. Shoreline Customs Interchange are the middle ground. Factory and Labs are nothing at all, I would say. I don't think there's much people out there that get bad FPS on Labs or Factory since very small maps, no loot, um, little AI and so on. And then we have woods with, with lots of open space and uh, no loot for a couple hundred meters. And that's basically a map that's only limited by your GPU if you want. Um, what I will open up is a lighthouse since that's a map where it is even possible to get into a CPU bottleneck when we open it offline. But very important, please do all your tests with an online run. You can just use a scaf, but never use offline or or uh, offline with AI to, to test your system for performance in EFT, since when you go in offline without AI, you will have much less strain on your PC as if you go in an online rate. And if you go in uh, offline with AI, you have much more stress on your CPU since all the AI is calculated by your own PC. And the only way to do it right is in an online run and just use a scaf that's riskless. Now we open up Lighthouse since that's a map where we can even get a CPU bottleneck in offline mode and the best map to show you what I want to show you. Now we're in the game and what you can see on the top left is that our GPU is at 95-96% usage. Um, if I wouldn't be recording this video with the GPU, we would be more like 99-98%. Uh, but we are in the GPU limit right now. We have 114 FPS and that's the absolute limit that our GPU is able to push out right now. The only thing we can do to reduce that, uh, to increase our, our frames is reduce stress on the GPU. And we do that by reducing settings that are GPU heavy. And one setting that is GPU heavy is of course the resolution. Nothing you could, uh, nothing you should change. Um, 
you should try to keep your native resolution of your display but just to show you what it does we uh, reduce it to 1080p from 4k and resume and now we see our frames got higher but not that much higher now we are in the cpu limit why the cpu limit you will ask because uh, it doesn't look like our cpu is under heavy load it's only uh, on 15 percent on some cores sometimes 50 percent but it's not 100 percent why cpu limited um, eft is not a benchmark it's not putting a uh, hard load for a long time on all the cores it's just very small very fast uh, uh, tasks that it has to do and it cannot keep up with all the different tasks that it has to do and what we need to do now to increase fps is reduce a setting that is cpu heavy one of those settings is lod quality um, lod quality right now is set to four and if we we reduce it to two and resume we can see that our fps go uh, uh, go a lot higher there's different settings that are CPU heavy, different settings that are GPU heavy. And in the next video, I will tell you exactly what each setting does and if it's CPU or GPU heavy. And so you can decide what settings you want to change to get the best FPS and the best looks that you are looking for. Now, why is it so important to know exactly which component is limiting your PC? It's basically if you are GPU limited, you can reduce a CPU limiting uh, uh, settings all day long and you won't get a lot of FPS boost. Like um, we are now back in the GPU limit at 95-96%. We have around 115 FPS. And if I reduce a CPU heavy setting like object LOD quality, you will see we get a little FPS bump, but not that much. Nothing to really care for. It's just basically because we have a uh, little less detail on some distant objects, but it's way more stressing on the CPU than it is on the GPU. So that's why I call it a CPU heavy setting. Now that's basically it for this video. Please go ahead and test every single map with the SCAF in an online run and see which component is limiting you in, in which, uh, on which map. Uh, most of you will run into CPU limits. Um, uh, I think not a lot of you will crank EFT to the highest graphic settings and try to play in 4K. For the most people, it's really CPU based. But um, yeah, try what's going on with your system. And then the next video will be very, very interesting for you and will help you a lot with your EFT performance. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of my first English video and if you want me to continue or, or uh, better stop. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to your comments and feedback. That's it. Nothing more to say, but thank you a lot. Thanks for watching. Always remember, you're the best and see you next time. Bye-bye.